Good morning. It's Thursday, May 7th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, To Be Expected, and our scripture is Acts chapter 6. Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, performed amazing miracles and signs among the people. But one day, some men from the synagogue of freed slaves, as it was called, started to debate with him. They were Jews from Cyrene, Alexandria, Cilicia, and the province of Asia. None of them could stand against the wisdom and the spirit with which Stephen spoke. So they persuaded some men to lie about Stephen, saying, We heard him blaspheme Moses and even God. This roused the people, the elders, and the teachers of the religious law. So they arrested Stephen and brought him before the high council. The lying witnesses said, This man is always speaking against the holy temple and against the law of Moses. We heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy the temple and change the customs Moses handed down to us. At this point, everyone in the high council stared at Stephen because his face became as bright as an angel's. Cats have this inner drive to hunt and then play with their food. The old saying about cat and mouse is a clear picture of this drive, and it's not a pretty picture from the mouse's perspective. Stephen is a poster child for the mouse's perspective. Jesus had warned his disciples about the treatment that they would experience at the hands of this world's power brokers. As this chapter opens, the church is flourishing as many people are being saved. But there was a division brewing that always happens when the church grows. Some of the widows were being neglected at the food pantry, so the church chose seven servants, deacons, to oversee this. Stephen is the first name mentioned, and it appears he jumped into serving Christ with his whole heart. What happened next was predictable because Jesus predicted it. He told his disciples in John chapter 15, If the world hates you, remember that it hated me first. The world would love you as one of its own if you belong to it, but you are no longer part of the world. I chose you to come out of the world, so it hates you. Do you remember what I told you? A slave is not greater than the master. Since they persecuted me, naturally they will persecute you. And if they had listened to me, they would listen to you. They will do all this to you because of me, for they have rejected the one who sent me. They would not be guilty if I had not come and spoken to them. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Anyone who hates me also hates my father. If I hadn't done such miraculous signs among them that no one else could do, they would not be guilty. But as it is, they have seen everything I did, yet they still hate me and my father. This fulfills what is written in their scriptures, they hated me without cause. But I will send you the advocate, the spirit of truth. He will come to you from the father and will testify all about me. And you must also testify about me because you have been with me from the beginning of my ministry. A cat torturing a mouse before it finally eats it is a sad commentary on religious authority mimicking worldly power systems. The plotting of Pharisees and the religious leaders to kill Jesus was a cat and mouse game of which those religious leaders would regret eternally. Stephen was full of grace and power. Pharisees, keepers of the law of Moses, ought to have been rejoicing. They didn't. Out of jealousy and pride, they arrested Stephen and played their cat and mouse game until they realized they were losing the debate. And since losing was not an option for the fat cat power crowd, they hired false witnesses to lie about Stephen. And finally... They stoned him to death. Game over. They thought, (laughs) at least for the time being. For you today, if you've decided to be a disciple of Jesus, don't expect a parade in your honor. A servant of Christ is mostly seen as lunch by the cats in charge. Expect the kind of welcome to the table Stephen got. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.